Hi, this is Trevor Conkergood, the software manager for RNK Distributing, and welcome to this week's RNK Software Club's video of the week. And the topic for this week is going to be about how you can get our excellent support and a few tips that I can share with you guys that might help you uh, not even need some support and just already know the the most commonly asked questions and their answers. So I had the pleasure this week of spending some time working on our support desk and helping many of you. And so some of the things that I that came up uh, quite a few times really surprised me. And so I thought we could talk a little bit about how to reach out and get some support from Floriani and um, some of the things that might come up and help you out. Um, first of all, when you open your software, you'll have the My Floriani Today page and this is probably the first place that you can find links to support. Um, there's two places that we'll talk about today. One of them is actually the forum. This is a little uh, link to the forum right here. kind of looks like a little conversation, I guess. Um, this is a great place to ask questions when you don't think it's actually something wrong with your software, but you're just hoping that somebody knows how to do something. Um, this is where, of course, it's a moderated forum. Um, Floriani educators like myself or uh, Mark Garretts will give answers. Um, and more importantly is you can join the conversation and add your own comments. Um, it's kind of like Facebook, but it's specifically uh, a social media just for Floriani owners and it's moderated by staff so that's a great place to go and when you click on it right here it will bring you to the forum now I know it doesn't look as fancy as it could but it's really full of knowledge you guys and so you will join um, this forum and if you need any support um, you can let us know but the idea is that that's the link to the forum and once you've logged into your forum you can read the different topics and you can post your own questions and so that's great um, so check out the forum and maybe you'll find some answers or just ask some great questions um, now of course the one that has a little heartbeat on the front of it looks like a heart with a little kind of heartbeat that's the one to create um, to go get software support when you click on that it'll bring you to the rnk software club website um, it'll bring you specifically to the page that's for support but if you're not sure where it is look at the logo or the image or the icon right here support same uh, location. So now you've got several links to things that might be um, helpful to people looking for support. And so these are links to different sort of um, bits of information, if you will, latest updates to the software, you know, get a copy of your welcome letter, these kinds of things. Um, if none of these things are helpful to you, then you'll need to press next, which is to start a support ticket. Now, once you push next, um, for some reason, I have to scroll back up the page after I click that. Um, the first question is, what kind of support do you need? And so you can get software support. That's where I was working this week, answering questions about the software support. You can also get website support. And that's, uh, you know, if you're having troubles with getting a download and maybe your browser saying something like file not found, you can ask for support from the our webmaster. And then newsletter support if you're not receiving our email. Um, those are the three choices for support. And depending on which one you choose, then your next uh, choices will become uh, you know, guided by that. And so go ahead and look for support when you need it, guys. I think that's one of the things that's the most awesome about Floriani is the level of commitment that we have to supporting the people that have purchased our software. And so um, uh, if you ever need support, we'll be happy to help you. Now, one thing I wanted to show you guys, and I'm going to pop back into our software, is you would not believe how many times people ask about this. Um, I was shocked. So what I'm talking about is the ability to activate your software. When you first buy your software, you come to your license activator, and then you choose the product that you've purchased. So if you have FTCU, you come and choose FTCU. If you've got Fusion, Sketch a Stitch, Rainbow, Lettering Master, Total Quilter, this is how you activate them. Once you choose the option in this box, then you will have a second little window that comes up where you enter your activation number. So the reason this is important to know about is because there's also the ability to deactivate. And if you go in, and I'm not going to go do this uh, because it will show you my um, 
my uh, registration code. But the point is, if I chose my FTCU right now, notice the ones that are activated have little kind of round circles beside them. So my FTCU is activated. And what I want you to know is you can also deactivate it. And that's for people that are buying a new computer because we have given everyone a license to use the software. And when you first buy it, it's set to have two activations. And the idea there is that you have one activation or one license, but you do have the ability to activate it twice. And so that's, you know, just in case you ever have a computer crash or so that you can also load it onto your desktop and your laptop. But once you've got it on your desktop and your laptop, you would have used both of your activations. And it's possible to come in and deactivate. So if you're buying a new computer, you can deactivate your license. And what that does is it makes your software no longer you work on your old computer and therefore gives you back the activation so that you can therefore activate on your new computer. Now, we realize that sometimes people's computers crash. And in that case, people will start a support ticket and tell us that they've had a computer crash. And in that case, we will go ahead and activate um, their software again. Um, and the reason I bring this up is because some people um, don't take the time to deactivate and they always use that option. Um, but what I want you to know is this is not meant to be the normal scenario and you're really not meant to have a high number of activations. You're only meant to have two and you're meant to deactivate them. And so if you're planning to get a new computer or you're looking for support and you're taking your computer down to the Best Buy Geek Squad, maybe deactivate your software before it goes in case their solution is going to be to uh, reinstall Windows, you know, because that would wipe out your software and cause you to reinstall it. So I wanted to run over that tip for you guys. Don't be afraid to deactivate your software. You can reactivate it. And if you ever need help, just start a support ticket. Um, this is by and large the most popular asked question on any support forum there is um, what happened to my low redraw tool and um, the reality is some of the tools uh, as you know we have the ability to customize our workspaces we have the ability to create our own workspaces and save them so here's my favorite workspace for doing thread sketching it makes more workspace then I've got another favorite workspace for when I do my design editing and so you have these great abilities but with them comes I guess the ability for the software to become a little confused maybe a toolbar is missing just know that you always have the ability under your toolbars drop down menu at the very bottom to choose reset workspace and that will put everything on your workspace back to its default settings um, so your choices are to use reset workspace and that will bring back your slow redraw tool that will bring back your missing color palette or anything that's mixed up on your workspace now if you save your own workspace then you don't have to do a reset workspace to put everything back to the factory defaults because if you've got a saved workspace then it works for that too you can simply choose a saved workspace and so these are some of the most commonly asked questions and I thought why not maybe set a little uh, video in place on um, how to answer them anyways you guys a lot of times people ask me how did you get your workspace to look like this with the left and the right and you will find that there's actually a uh, one of our monthly or weekly videos I think it was from November 2020 uh, that shows exactly how to do that but probably what you need to know is that you have to click under your preferences for the program and go on the view tab and unlock the property sequence and view, you know, the little tabs and windows over here. Once you unlock that, it does give you the ability to take your properties box and put it wherever you like. And so I chose to put it on uh, this section right here. And so that's how you do it. Anyway, you can watch a different video for more tips and tricks on how to customize your workspace. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, they're important tips and thank you for listening. Until next time, have a wonderful day and bye for now.